Greetings. Today you would be engaged in the sharing about mixed level classrooms of P4s and P5s as year 1s. This year is our third batch. We have also introduced a performance-based selection process this year. If you have joined us in the sharing last year, we have since updated our slides to reflect the current situation this year so there is something new. Our school implemented E2K science program in 2018 where we had our first batch of P4 and P5 as year 1s. They were P5 and P6 as year 2s in 2019 and the P6 students have since graduated. The P5 students from the first batch are P6 this year. Our second batch of P4 and P5 E2K science students in 2019 have proceeded to year 2s. They are P5 and P6 this year. Our third batch this year of year 1s consist of only P4 students as the P5 students interviewed were not selected. More on that later. Our E2K science program is an after-school enrichment program. Previously only 1.5 hours, we have since made it 2 hours as it would give the students more time to update their work on SLS as well as to clear their apparatus. Teachers find the extra half an hour useful and they do not need to rush through their sessions. Based on our annual review on our program, we have introduced a performance task as part of our interview process. Students are first shortlisted based on their examination scores. The selection was conducted in a two-part process. In the first part, students were required to conduct a performance task for 40 minutes in a group of three. The students were observed and graded based on a performance task rubrics which we created. We looked at various qualities based on individual and cooperation and ranked the students accordingly. In the second part, students were interviewed based on the questions provided by HQ. Students were selected after discussion among teachers who conducted the performance tasks and interviews. As our Year 1 and Year 2 E2K programs are conducted in the afternoon, four teachers are required, two teachers in each class. It is possible to pair an E2K trained teacher with an untrained E2K teacher if manpower is short in your school. As our school has been sending teachers for training every year, we have six E2K trained teachers in our science department. This year, we have changed the number of sessions in Year 1 and Year 2 to be 13 sessions per year. That means that students would be doing three modules each year. It was previously four modules in Year 1 and two modules in Year 2. The 28 students who were in Year 1 last year have proceeded to Year 2s this year. However, due to conflicting schedules and the shifting of E2K from Mondays to Thursdays, the P6 Year 2 students had to drop out of the program as it clashes with their after-school supplementary on Thursdays. This year's Year 1 students only consist of P4s. Even though there were five shortlisted P5s whom we interviewed, they did not make it into the final cut and were not selected for the program. This is the overview of the E2K science program in our school. Year 1 students consist of P4 and P5. Year 2 students consist of P5 and P6. Marie Curie Day is a science learning day. The P6's students, Year 2 and those graduated when they were in P5, are the organizers for the event. They will liaise with the science club members to set up learning booths and experiences for the rest of the school during their recess timings. Marie Curie Day is similar to E2K Challenge Day where E2K students showcase a chosen activity to the rest of their peers. Here is an example of the pathway of a typical P4 student who was selected for the program at P4. Here is an example of the pathway of a P4 student who was shortlisted for interview but not selected for the program at P4. However, the student got a second chance when the student was in P5. Here is an example of the pathway of a P4 student who was not selected for the program at P4. However, the student got a second chance when the student was in P5. The next two slides are some of the benefits of a mixed level model. Students will get a second chance to be interviewed and selected at P5 when they are more matured, allowing for late bloomers. This second chance creates multiple time periods to ensure that students are not missed by one-shot identification procedures at the beginning of P4. These students were selected based on their science results in P3 which may not be a true reflection of their ability. This second chance also provides entry into the program for students based on their readiness, rather than by chronological age. These students usually are more matured when they are shortlisted and interviewed at P5 instead of P4. Students were allowed to leave the program at the end of year one. 
students who could not manage, cope with the commitment of staying back after school on an extra day or the extra workload of the program, were allowed to leave the program at the end of year one. We have had some students who opted to concentrate on their studies when they were in P6. By having a mixed level year ones and year twos, the mixing between students of different levels were encouraged. The students will have the chance to learn from students of different levels which usually only occurs during CCA. These are some of the challenges that we have faced this year with the mixed level model. Year 1 and Year 2 classes would have to take place at the same time slot because of the P5 students who could be in Year 1 or Year 2. As a result, more manpower four teachers, is needed to run classes concurrently. Two separate venues are required as well. This may be challenging if there is only one science lab in your school or if there is only one upper primary lab in your school. Those P5 students in Year 1 would become P6 in Year 2. P6 students would have the option to stop at the end by Semester 1 and miss the remaining four sessions last module, which are conducted in Term 3 of Semester 2. It can also be difficult to set aside time for the E2K Year 3's P6 students for their post-PSLE program, Marie Curie Day to be organizers and setting up of exhibition booths. As mentioned before, this year's P6 Year 2 students had to drop out of the program as it clashes with their after-school supplementary on Thursdays. Here is the tabulation of survey feedback that was conducted in 2019. This year's program has been affected by COVID. The following slides are samples of what the students thought about the mixed level model. Thank you for your time.